Hi, I'm Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own creative voice. And last week I mentioned to you, I was going to show you how I work with sketchbooks to, to kind of find my own creative voice and to keep evolving it. This is an altered book, that meaning this is a second-hand old book that I bought in a bookstore and I'm now changing and using as a sketchbook. And I um, something I've not done massively, but I'm really enjoying it because in these altered books, the paper is amazing. Now, I collect collage papers from all over. There's gift wrap, there's paper bags, there's vintage papers that I buy in antique shops or on eBay. There's old letters people have sent me, there's scrapbook uh, pages, there's old photographs. So I am currently really enjoying just building up these, these pages of paper, just different types of paper, lots of old aged paper, but also some newer stuff, some drawing, some just little bits and pieces. There were some little gift tags that I found from somewhere. I don't know where. And I just like the textures of those. And there's no rhyme or reason behind why I'm doing what I'm doing. Except that each of the pieces of paper really interests and intrigues me. And much like the way I make my paintings where I build up layers... Here I'm doing the same, I'm building up layers of collage and only stopping when I'm happy. And the other way I'm working in this book, which is a bit new for me, is I'm not calling anything done. I'm coming back into the pages and making changes at various stages. And so I may come back in and um, change these pages, even the ones that you're seeing now. And I'm moving between sketchbooks. This little one here, all I'm doing at the moment is putting text that I really like, cutting and pasting text that I really like into, into pages of the book and then um, staining it with paint or ink. In this case, I used a golden paint color. Um, I think it's quinacridone gold or something. Sorry, I'm not too sure, but... Um, staining it, rubbing off most of what I've put on, but just creating these stains. Sometimes I stain paper with tea as well, which is nice. And I'm just doing this to build a background for something. I don't know what, but I've got just various types of text that I like as my backdrops. And I've only done a few pages of that book. And I work in several at once. And as one's drying, I move on to a different one. And this helps to keep my creativity flowing because I have no plan. I'm just doing whatever I feel like. I'm grabbing, this is a knitting pattern or a sewing pattern and I'm sewing obviously. And I'm just grabbing uh, whatever feels good. That's piece of an envelope that had my name on it that I've stuck on there. And for some reason I felt like making a little fold over sleeve. So I did. Here I drew a blind self portrait onto a piece of paper and stuck that down. It's just all about the layering. And with these books, I figure that eventually it will make sense to me why I'm doing it. Here, this was um, the back of a map, an old, old map of Yorkshire. And I loved the front, but I especially loved that colour on the back. And so that I've stuck in as an extra page in the book, just using artist masking tape and then sealing it in with gloss medium. And then leave that one to dry. This is another altered book. So another old secondhand book. And here, very, uh, I just built up one spread and I thought I would show you that. Just again, doing whatever I felt like doing. I do like to have tidy edges on my pages, so I trim them. I know some people don't do that. Here, I just felt like having some text. It's not anything that anyone could read, but I know what I was writing. Um... And often I do this, by the way, in art journals. I'll write and then cover it up. Um, I Here I use some coloured charcoal just to create some smudging. I didn't love that effect, but by the time I finished this page, I did quite like how it was looking. I got here an oil pastel and just made some big bold marks, which I really liked that. And finally, I think I finished this one off with, yes, with some paint. Um, it, in the sub, subsequently, I kind of muted this white paint down a little bit with a stain of something, but for now, this is where I left it.
Next week, I'll be back to share with you where some of these books have got to. And uh, I'll just do some flip throughs and talk a little bit about what I've done, talk about which pages I like and why, and how I see these things maybe feeding into whatever comes next in my paintings. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also sign up for my newsletter if you're not already on it, because every Sunday I send out all sorts of valuable info for artists. So do make sure you're on that and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.